Hey everybody, time for uh, healing, I think, don't you? So let's all join together today. Take a few deep breaths. Calling in our guides, our angels, three trillion angels. They fill up our room, they fill up the universe. A huge amount of energy here. Calling in our spirit guides, calling in our animals, our spirit animals, and all our ancestors. These angels are busy, um, never too busy for us, but They've been very, very busy. And our loved ones are held by these angels. So always know that. All right. <clears throat> Bring forward hmm, Archangel Raphael for healing. See the beautiful earth, the planet. It's Archangel. Raphael comes in. This beautiful purple and green swirling energy going all around. It's like a scarf as it twirls around the planet. The colors keep it going. It's a green and purple, some gold keeps going around and around, clockwise. Have it go clockwise. And see him as he heals, not just the planet, but those souls that have departed from us. They sing, we don't need healing. We're exactly where we wanna be. They don't want us to miss them but they know we will. And to let you all know that they are with their angels, being hugged with their ancestors, their departed loved ones, all holding them. And they wanna make things easier for us. And so they'd like for you to take some time to be kind to yourself. To make yourself happy somehow. Showing yourself kindness. And giving yourself, allowing yourself to feel your pain when you have it. Allowing yourself the gift of love from others. And allowing those loved ones to help you through this. There will be changes on this planet more and more that's just the way it is right now they're going to get us through it and the best way for us to get through it is to be of love and light doesn't mean that we're not going to be angry feel sorrow and grief or even be scared. <laughs> That's all natural. Those are natural emotions on this planet. Just when we go into these emotions to feel awareness, the awareness of the awareness of light, the awareness of time, that time means nothing. The awareness that there is no clock on your pain or your grief or your love. Be gentle with yourself and others as we go through these times and try not to come from a place of fear, being too scared to feel love or too scared to move or too scared to 
do whatever your heart is calling you to do. If it's to move or to um, make changes. Just be aware of that fear though. And see it. Do breathing exercises. There are many here on YouTube, on the internet, social media that can help. Hmm. There's Deepak and Eckhart, yes. And then there's many others, Linda G, Debbie at Freebird Spirit, many mediums that are really good. Lisa Smith at Spiritual Awakenings. Intuitive Spirit Awakenings, I think it is. Um, two of you. I mean, there's too many to list, right? Kevin. Two Kevins two, that are really, really good. Um, Mal and Sterling. So um, I'm not going to list everybody, but I guess I just did. And I just want you to know that everybody's here to help you. Diane at... Um, no, I can't even think right now. Diane's tarot. Anyway. So, did we get a meditation in there? I think it was just spirit came through and wanted to talk. So let's go in and see the earth revolving with those beautiful scarves all around it. And the water. See the scarves as it pushes the water where it needs to be to move it a little bit to dry off some spaces that we need it and to put the water where we do need it where the droughts are forming and as we're healing these spots and these areas let's send love and light to everybody in anguish that's been hurt by this. Lift their hearts up. Beautiful angel, Raphael and all his team. Three trillion angels as they come with their purple flame, healing all those, touching their hearts, just letting them gently gently ease up on some of this pain and so it is now coming back to your room back to your own particular angels <laughs> which I'm sure so Archangel Raphael's angels will stay with us now yeah your spirit guides your pets your spirit animals. Feel them all around us as they tuck us in and wake us up in the morning. Ask us to feel joy when something like this has happened. And yet, those on the other side want us to feel that joy, don't they? So, you know, I know about grief. I've lost people I love, many. Some very dear ones. And um, each one is different, isn't it? And every person is different. So your story is your story. Don't feel that anybody has to make you get back out there when you don't want to. Or don't feel that if you're ready to get back out there, that it's wrong timing. Look in your heart, ask yourself what you want to do. And if your heart is heavy, it's probably not the right answer. Ask your angels, always. So have a great day, everybody. Um, we'll do some more healings that are less discombobulated later. Mwah. Namaste.